Hi everyone and welcome back to this AutoCAD tutorial. On our previous lesson, we learned how to filter the visibility of annotative objects by changing scales. On today's video, we are going to learn how to create our own custom annotative textile and how to apply annotative properties to dimension style. Both of those tags are more easy and simple than you can imagine, you will see. To create your own annotative textile, just need to access the textile manager so if you go to the annotation tab on the ribbon and click down on the drop down menu you will have this icon here which is the textile option click on it and it will display the textile manager here we have the list of the current textiles charged in our project now to create a new textiles we are going to click on new and now to specify a name what I like to do is to write down an appropriate uh, name of what we are going to do so in this case we're gonna make an annotative textile and we're gonna change the height of this textile so I'm gonna write down annotative and three millimeters for the height of the text then click OK now over here you can change the appearance of the text like a normal uh, font or the, the style of the font but what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on a narrative under the size option and as you see as soon as we click on a narrative the height option has been changed to paper text height and as I explained you on the first lesson another properties work with the real paper size of objects when printed so now we're going to specify 3 for the paper text height as we wrote down 3 millimeters. About paper size, I will not recommend you to go lower of 2 millimeters, 1.5 as the smallest just in case you really need to fit a small text. Remember that in difference from literary text, technical plans are often used at sight so don't give a hard time to the contractors or workings trying to make them guess what you wrote down on this really tiny text. So let's go ahead and click on apply and close. So let's use this new text style for the text of the names of the buildings. So let's select the name of the three buildings. And now if we go to the properties panel and down on the text uh, options we can see on the style it has the narrative text style but we can change it to the another three millimeter style that we have uh, just created before don't worry changing from one narrative text style to another narrative text style will still keep the listed scales of the objects in its properties in the other in the other side Doing this from an annotative style to a non-annotative style will make the text lose all the scales from its properties except the current scale. So I find creating multiple annotative text styles with different sizes very useful because it helps you highlight more some information than other. So for example here if we go to our layout you will see that in this viewport the text has an appropriate size but the slight difference from both styles make the name of the building stand out more than the name of the apartments making it easier to identify okay now let's go back to our model space to explain you a small thing so far you have noticed that whenever we select a text style with an anonymous style applied it displays itself multiple times and this is a normal thing because the text is displaying the different representation of itself uh, according to the various scales set it off in its properties. Now moving on, as you saw how easy it was to create a custom annotative textile, it is as easy as that to create an annotative dimension style. For that, let us click on the annotation tab in the ribbon and on the drop down menu we have the dimension style option. So we click on that and this dimension style manager work quite the same as the text style manager so it will display the list of dimension styles we have currently in our project so so far we only have one the standard and to create a new uh, dimension style well we click on new and 
and again we have to specify a name so let's write down another div and let's say two millimeters and here it gives us the option to start uh, using a, a current style so let's keep it with standard and now here we're going to click on another div to set this property already on, on the list of options of this style and then here we have the option to specify onto what kind of dimension the uh, quotation we want to apply this text this dimension style for and so far we're gonna leave all dimensions so let's click on continue so as most of the settings have been defined already by the standard dimension style that we use to create our own style we just need to click on the text the tab and here what we need to do is to change the text style from standard to one of the narrative text styles that we have already so let's click on another narrative and as you can see the text height option has been unable because we are using the current height of the text style which is the two millimeters we specified at the name as well and that's all now in the case you want to turn a non narrative uh, style into an narrative one besides setting the text styles configuration what you will need to do is to go to the fit tab and make sure that the narrative option on the scale of the parameters it's selected but if you are just creating a new one by clicking on the text tab will be enough so let's click OK and close so let's add a quick dimension line just to see if it works so let's go to the annotation tab in the ribbon click on dimension and let's make a clip from this side of the building let's go to this other side and extend the dimension over here now let's select the dimension line go to the properties and add the properties that we have in our viewport so annotation scale add and let's look for 1 to 200 and 1 to 20 click OK and OK so if we go to our uh, layout we are gonna see that the another style of our dimension line has been added and it's working on the corresponding scales here on this viewport we don't see it because it's further away but we're gonna see later how to manipulate the position of the different another objects corresponding to independent independently scales so let's return to our model spells one more time great well as you saw both tasks are quite easy to do and another one that you can apply very quickly is adding custom scales for the whole project for that you just need to click on the scales down here and it will develop this menu and we click on custom and here we're gonna click on add and now what we have to do is to specify a name for the new style for the new scale so let's say 1 to 75 and here you just need to input the corresponding value to the name you added so let's click on OK and OK also you can access to this option using the another ta uh, tab on the ribbon and here on the scale list you, you can develop the scale list of the whole project and you can manage the different scales even erase some of the ones that you are not using or arrange the order in which you want them to appear so there you go now you know how to create your own custom another text dimension styles and scales for your project on our next lesson, we are going to keep on working with these narrative elements and explore more of their options. So thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more upcoming tutorials.